Okay, today, ladies and gents, we're talking about different ways to combine shapes. Now, I've put together this toolbar, which I use all the time, that uh, has a bunch of different, uh, different tools on it. And um, one of them is Convert to Editable Shapes, which uh, uh, takes any kind of um, uh, quick shape like these here and will convert it into an editable shape so you can, you can change it. Um, then I have uh, Join and Break Shapes. Um, which are two two things that you can you can do. Um, you can't really break shapes without uh, without joining them first. You can, but I don't want to get into too much detail about about that. And then you have the the three th uh, the four things here that uh, are under combine shapes, which are add shapes, subtract shapes, intersect shapes, and slice shapes. And I'm going to show you what each of these do. And I'm going to go, be going back and forth between uh, between this view, uh, which is the the full view quality and this view, which is uh, outline view quality. Okay, uh, and you can just adjust that by sliding this uh, this view quality slider back and forth. I'm going to do that because it's going to be easier to see what these, some of these are doing. Um, so first of all, let's go and uh, these are identical uh, across uh, the shapes. Here are identical. I have a, a blue rectangle and a, a red ellipse, and they're just copies of one another. So uh, they're exactly identical. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to select both of them, and I'm going to go ahead and join shapes. And now what this does is this actually join the shapes. And any place you have shapes that overlap like this, I'm going to go ahead and remove the slider. You can see that this is still two shapes, but they're joined. Um, anytime you get overlap like that, you get a uh, blank area underneath it. You see how I'm, I go off the side in there, and, uh, and you can see the gray area. There's actually nothing there right now. And I'll show you another example of that right quick. I'll just draw a star. And if I were to use um, this on the side and and move the the sides of the star around, you could say any place where where these the shape overlaps itself, uh, you get blank area, and uh, and it's completely empty area, right? If I move off to the side, you can see that the gray shows through too. Okay, so that's um, join shapes, break shapes, just breaks them back apart again in this particular case. Um, and you can see that these are two separate shapes again. And I could go back and, and color one of them blue again, for example. Yeah, uh, it did change the order, but uh, that's not that big of a deal. You can move that around. Okay, so now I'm going to take these two, I'm going to add shapes. Uh, and if I click on add shapes, that becomes one shape. Now I'm going to reduce the, the slider down to the outline view, and you can see this is one shape now. Yeah. Um, move it back up, and I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to subtract shapes, um, which is this one right here. And it takes the top shape and subtracts it from the bottom shape. Yeah. Um, Move the slider. Move the slider down. You can see that the shape has been changed by the top object. Yeah. Okay. Intersect shapes. I'm going to go ahead and take these two and uh, click on intersect shapes. And this only takes the bottom shape where it intersects with the top shape. So, right. If I go back and forth, you can see that just this section where they were intersecting is what is left over. Yeah. All right, and then the last one is slice shapes, and when I do that, uh, the, the top shape is going to cut the bottom shape into whatever pieces that uh, that uh, um, the top shape uh, intersects with, right? So now this is actually two, two pieces. If I were to grab that, I can, whoops, doing the wrong thing here, hold on. I'm in the wrong view for this go back to, to this view quality, you can see much easier. I can just grab that piece and move it out. It has actually sliced the bottom shape with the, the top shape is sliced the bottom shape. In any case, that's it. Um, really kind of quick and dirty. Uh, what the different uh, the different um, things do for for shapes for uh, uh, combined shapes. Again, all these are here in the arrange menu. Uh, join shapes and break shapes are here, and then combine shapes has add, subtract, intersect, and slice shapes. Um, and I hope you found that useful and interesting, and we'll come back and visit us next time, and uh, talk to you then.